Hello, Bible journalers. It's me just here for a really quick update. I want to let you know that the publisher wrote to me about a month ago or so and told me that my workbook is going to be out of print. They're not going to reprint it. And they're down to, you know, a couple hundred copies or whatever. And I have the first right of refusal as the author to purchase the books and then do what I want with them. And I thought about, well, do I just rescue these books? I don't know what they do with books when they end up in this category. Are they going to fire sale them or are they going to put them in a burn pile? I don't, I don't know what they do with them. I don't know what that process is. But I wanted to invite you to do something with me if you wish. I am not going to become a retailer. I don't want to just buy all the books and then be selling them onesie twosies. That's just way too much work for what it's worth because by the time I buy the books and have them ship it to me and pay the shipping on that and then process all the orders, package everything up, buy the packaging, go to the post office and pay the shipping for it to you. It's going to cost the same as it does on Amazon right now, which is $19.99. So if that's what you want, then you might as well get it on Amazon before they stop selling them. And I don't know when that is. However, what I am offering, if you wish, is to go to my uh, Fine Art website, which is where I'm hosting this. There'll be a link in the description down below. If you want to order a book from me, for an extra $15. And why am I charging an extra $15? It's because in the workbook, I am going to not only inscribe it with a note to you personally, but I'm also going to paint a page in the back section of the book. And there's a big blank area and I'm just going to paint something on one of those pages. Now you could either just keep that in there and save it and let it be your inspiration, or you could actually slice it out of there, trim it down to fit your Bible and put it in as a tip in. And then you have a page from me. I'm not going to put any text on it or a sign of verse to it, but I'll be doing random pages. They might be animals. They might be flowers. It might be a scene, a mountain scene or something. I, you know, I'm going to keep it something generic that you could use with lots of different Bible verses. Whenever you find one that inspires you, that suits what I have painted. So if you're interested, they're $35 and that includes the shipping and handling and everything. But I thought I'd offer that and see if anybody wanted one, then go ahead and get it. And if not, I will put a link also to the Amazon ones because that's the only place that I know that's selling them anymore. I want to offer you two other opportunities that you may not know about. <laughs> I don't really know. I have classes in Bible journaling and those classes are, I'm going to put a link in the doobly-doo if you're interested in those. There is an Advent class that I'm going to add to in Advent. So on the first Sunday of Advent, the first Sunday lesson is going to be there. So if you want to go and see all of the Advent lessons from all of the past years in one place, that is a fundraiser class and all the money goes to charity, all the other Bible journaling classes are there for you. So I'm just going to put a link to the whole category so you can go find what you would like. Second thing I want to let you know about is on Art Venture, which is a place on Mighty Networks. It's an app or a website. You can go to either one. You don't have to download an app. I have a community of artists, and there are people who are Bible journaling in the Bible journaling section of that platform. And you're welcome to come there and share. And maybe I will start to share a few more of my Bible journalings. I tend to just keep them private. I don't really go public with that anymore. Not for any reason of not loving God a whole lot, but just because it became something that was much more internal to me and more private. So there's that. I will put links to everything down in the doobly-doo. And I will see you guys maybe if there's an update on the other book. I don't know. Or maybe I'll let you know when the content gets added to the Advent class because that's coming up really soon. All right. I will see you later. God bless you all. Bye-bye.